I am starting my Tiger with Star Blends White and a disposable smoothie blender. These are good for events because you can just throw them away after each kid. I think a whole pack of these is only, I don't know, four or five dollars. So I am starting with the muzzle and the trick with Star Blends is to really load up whatever you're using. So if you're using a makeup sponge or a smoothie blender, you just really, really want to rub it around in that powder and apply it to your face as evenly as possible. I've noticed when I do videos with Star Blends, it looks really blotchy on camera, but it doesn't look that bad in person. So, so I'm just shaping the muzzle, pulling the white up over the nose, and then sweeping some over my eyes as well, creating almost like a little ear shape, but I'm not going to paint them into ears. I just want my tiger to have that kind of sweep of white going up into its forehead. I'm also just adding a little bit of width to my muzzle area. The wider this looks, the more feline it is, so don't be shy to make that too small. Make it a nice wide muzzle. So just evening this out and then I'm gonna be moving on to my yellow star blends and this is a really nice, bright, pretty yellow. And I'm just gonna do that on the center of my face and then kind of blend it into the white because I don't want harsh lines. The nice thing about using powders, they're very, very blendable and easy to work with. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to it because it's very different than water activated paint. So taking that yellow onto the top of my forehead and then sweeping it around my face. And then I'm going to take orange and I'm just going to flick it in. So I'm basically concentrating the orange on the outside of my face, the top of my forehead, which I felt like there were some gaps. So I just swept that over and then around the edges. And then I'm just flicking it in to blend it into the yellow, just so that there's some depth and it's not too boring. Same thing on the other side. Starting with some creamy black and a small brush, start on the tip of that brush, push down and wiggle and lift up, push down, wiggle, twist and lift up. Couple things to doing these. One, you don't want them to be perfectly symmetrical. Start one just a little bit higher than the other and end on the tip a little bit lower than the next one. It'll help give you a little bit more of a realistic look. Also, painting over powder, you wanna have a nice creamy consistency or your brush will pull away. I would recommend if you haven't painted over powder, just cover your arm with powder and practice so you have the consistency down before you do this. Once you have it down, it's really easy. So starting on the tip of my brush, push down, wiggle, and flick up, and then keep repeating that. Put as many stripes as you like. I kind of feel like less is more. I'm also flicking all of my stripes to the same point in the center of my face, the bridge of my nose. That's also going to help give you a more consistent look. So start on the tip, push down, wiggle, twist, and back up. For the cat nose, don't go up over your nose like a bubble, like a puppy dog nose is good that way. Just flick right underneath your nose, closer to your nostrils. You just want to make kind of a, a large U shape, and that's going to give you that elongated feline nose. If you go up over the tip of your nose, it's just going to be a big puppy dog nose, which is great for puppies, not for cats. So then draw a line down, splitting your lip, and then a little triangle at the top is an easy way to fill that in. And then you can pull a line over your lip to kind of finish off that muzzle. And I usually just pull, push down when I get to the outer edge, and then flick back up to finish at a nice point. For the muzzle, I am just pulling in some lines to fill that in. You can also use dots. I personally feel like half the time my dots are uneven and then I get really annoyed by that. So I do these instead on little kids for events because they tend to look better for me, but do whatever you want. I'm also going to outline the bottom lip just to finish that off. And then I am going to fill it in with kind of a pinky color in a minute as well. 
I'm going to add some eyeliner. I do not do this on little kids, which you guys probably know because I say this all the time. I hate putting paint on little kids' eyes, but adults, teenagers, give them a little bit of a winged liner. Oh, did you see my cat jump? <laughs> She's a little feisty in the background. So I'm also adding some teeth. Just get a nice um, round brush with some creamy white, push down and flick and create some simple teeth. Filling in the bottom lip with a nice pretty pink. And that's my simple tiger for events. I like using the star blends because it's very soft, pretty look. And if you're in a warm climate, it does not melt off kids' faces when they're running around. So I hope you guys liked this and give it a try.